welcome to February, another fabulous month here on Rialto Channel. So first up this week, I've got a film about being stuck in a rut. I don't know why, but I really like films about people being stuck in a rut. Last week, of course, we had Mad Mary, and this week we have Anna. And she's a 30-year-old who is struggling to come to terms with the loss of her twin brother about 18 months ago. And the film is called Adult Life Skills. Now, Anna, who is played by the first female Doctor Who, Jodie Whittaker, she lives in a self-imposed exile in a shed in her mother's back garden and she works at the local outdoor pursuit centre and spends her spare time making little thumb movies. Yeah, she's quite quirky. A week before her birthday, her best friend arrives in town, a socially awkward real estate agent tries to woo her, and her young neighbour attaches himself to her while his mother is in hospital. And all this leads to a rather explosive birthday party. So it's not the most revolutionary indie film you're ever going to see, but Whittaker is a delight in the film, and she nails that balance between humour and drama perfectly. There are some hilarious lines between the three generations, Anna, her mother and her grandmother, and it's all accompanied by a very cool soundtrack. It's lovely, it's sweet, it's ultimately a moving flick. It screens on Sunday the 11th of February. And sticking with Quirky, a new British series kicks off this week. It's called Trip. It's a sci-fi adventure comedy about a couple of best mates, Milo and Danny, who embark on a series of bizarre adventures across multiple parallel universes. It stars Blake Harrison from The Inbetweeners and it has some quite funny lines but overall it feels like a good idea not quite fully realised. However, if you have fond memories of Bill and Ted, you might enjoy. So Trip kicks off on Friday the 9th of February. And finally this week, you'll want to catch La Ride. It's a documentary written and produced by Louise Cogan and written and directed by Phil Cogan. And it's inspired by Harry Watson. He was the first New Zealander ever to ride the Tour de France in 1928. And Phil and his support team set out on a bike from 1928 to retrace his ride. So, a heavy steel bike with no gears and not such great brakes, 150 miles a day, and the Pyrenees, that is just the beginning of the challenges that Phil and his team face in recreating this ride and filming it. Um, it's a fabulous story, perfect for cyclists, enthusiasts, and in fact, the whole family. So the ride screen screens on Wednesday, the 7th of February. Now, very exciting, the New Zealand Festival kicks off 23rd of February until the 18th of March in Wellington. And we've got a fabulous little giveaway. We have a double pass to the opening night show of The Select at the Opera House to give away. That's in Wellington on the 24th of February. To enter, all you have to do is go to rialtochannel.co.nz competitions and get yourself in the draw. And I'll see you next week. Bye.